Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about New Earth. If we have to leave our planet due to exhaustion of the Earth or overpopulation, which planets would be best for humanity then? Many automatically think of Mars. But watch this video all the way through and know which planet deserve the title, Earth 2.0. New Earth Kepler 22b is the first planet discovered inside the habitable zone of a sun-like star. This artist's conception from 2011 shows the first planet that NASA's Kepler mission has confirmed to orbit the region around a star where liquid water, a requirement for life on Earth, could exist. This exoplanet is 2.4 times the size of Earth, making it the smallest yet found to orbit in the middle of the habitable zone of a star like our Sun. At the time, scientists did not know if the planet has a predominantly rocky, gaseous, or liquid composition. It's possible that the world would have clouds in its atmosphere, as depicted here in the artist's interpretation. Terraforming a New Earth – The Making of Mars Recently, NASA stated that, thanks to powerful solar winds and missing TO2, terraforming Mars will be more difficult than we anticipated. But they noted that there's still hope for the red planet. To some, Martin Fogg talked about five critical changes Mars must undergo in his text, Terraforming. Engineering planetary environments. They are as follows. The surface temperature must be raised. The atmospheric pressure must be increased. The chemical composition of the atmosphere must be changed. The surface must be made wet, preferably with water. The surface flux of UV radiation must be reduced. It may be a long, long ways off, but it could be done. However, only if we form a global collaboration and truly invest in this effort. Assuming it's possible to terraform a planet to support humans from Earth, non-genetically modified humans, that is, how cool would it be to step off of that spaceship and take a breath of fresh alien air? New Earth-sized planet found in habitable sweet spot orbit around a distant star. Researchers have discovered a new Earth-sized planet orbiting a star outside our solar system. The planet, called Kepler-1649 c, is only around 1.06 times larger than Earth, making it very similar to our own planet in terms of physical dimensions. It's also quite close to its star, orbiting at a distance that means it gets around 75% of the light we do from the Sun. The planet's star is a red dwarf which is more prone to the kind of flares that might make it difficult for life to have evolved on its rocky satellite surface. Unlike here, in our own neighborhood, it orbits so closely to its star, too, that one year is just 19.5 of our days. But the star puts out significantly less heat than the sun, so that's actually right in the proper region to allow for the presence of liquid water. Kepler-1649 who was found by scientists digging into existing observations gathered by the Kepler Space Telescope before its retirement from operational status in 2018. An algorithm that was developed to go through the troves of data collected by the telescope and identify potential planets for further study failed to properly ID this one, but researchers noticed it when reviewing the information. There's still a lot that remains to be discovered about the exoplanet, like what its atmosphere is like. There could be any number of other problems with Kepler-1649 relative to its ability to support life, as well, including errors in the data used to determine that it is Earth-like and in the correct habitable zone around its star. But this represents one of the best-ever potential extrasolar planets found in terms of its potential of supporting life, thanks to the combo of its size and the temperate orbital band it occupies. Identified exoplanets with Earth-like characteristics provide scientists with good candidates for future study, including targeting via Earth-based and in-space observation instruments. It'll probably be a long time before we can definitively say anything about whether or not they might support actual life, but even finding exoplanets with the potential is an exciting development. Meet Pi, a new Earth-sized planet. Researchers have discovered a new Earth-sized planet it's orbiting a dim red star some 185 light-years away. The planet's official name is K2315b, but 
Its nickname is Pi Earth. The reason? It orbits its star every 3.14 days. That orbit reminded astronomers of the irrational number Pi, written as the Greek letter P. An irrational number is one that can't be written as a fraction or a ratio, and the first three digits of Pi are 3.14. Pi is also a mathematical constant. To calculate it, you need to know just two measurements from any circle. The first one is the circle's circumference, and the second one is the circle's diameter. To find pi, just divide that circle's circumference by its diameter. This number will be the same no matter what circle you started with. There are an infinite number of digits in the pi. Astronomers don't know exactly how warm K2315b is. That's because they don't know much about its atmosphere or inner workings. Instead, scientists have to imagine how warm the planet would be if it were a simple dark ball heated only by its star. In that case, its surface temperature would be about a toasty 187 Celsius, 368 Fahrenheit. That's warm enough to boil water or cook tasty desserts, such as pie, notes Prajwal Nirala. It also suggests this planet is likely too warm to be habitable, he adds. Nirala is a planetary scientist who studies exoplanets. He works at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge. He was part of a team that described this new exoplanet, September 21, in the Astronomical Journal. The researchers discovered the new planet while looking through data from NASA's K2 mission, which ended in October 2018, explains Nirala. That's when the spacecraft ran out of fuel. Once the researchers realized they had found an interesting object to study, they needed to confirm it was a planet. To do that, they used a network of ground-based telescopes and historical images of the sky. Cool discovery from a cool star. This study presents a new, fairly temperate, rocky planet around a low-mass cool star, says Johanna Tesk. She was not involved with the new study. But this astronomer knows what to make of such findings. She studies exoplanets at the Carnegie Institution for Science in Washington, D.C. Even a cool star is hot to you and me. The surface of Pi Earth's star is about 3,000 Oki, 5,500 of. Astronomers call it cool because most stars are much hotter. Our sun, for example, is about 5,500 of Celsius, 10,000 of Fahrenheit. Stars and their families. Pi Earth was detected as part of a survey specifically for planets around these very cool stars, Tesk says. This type of survey is exciting, she says, because it is really focused on finding the smallest planets. To scout for them, she says, researchers are looking around the smallest stars. And she finds the data on Pi Earth the most promising signal from the survey so far. Smaller planets are easier to detect around smaller stars, she points out because they block out a higher fraction of the star's light. That's how many exoplanets are found. When a planet passes between its star and Earth, the star's light dims. If Pi Earth's home star was as big as our sun, Tesk notes, astronomers might never have detected it. Astronomers couldn't measure how big Pi Earth is directly, Nirala notes. So they measured how big a shadow it cast as it made several passes, or transits, in front of its star. His team fed those measurements into a computer model to calculate the planet's size relative to its star. Planets around cool stars are, right now, one of the best bets for finding temperate planets, Tesk says. Those planets are also described as existing in a Goldilocks zone. That means they are cool enough to have liquid water on the surface, she notes. Many of the planets detected in seemingly habitable zones are around small stars, she says. Looking ahead, Nirala wants to study the atmosphere blanketing Pi Earth. He says his team is excited to study the chemical recipe of this atmosphere. He describes an atmosphere as a gateway to better understanding the makeup of the planet itself. With such information, he says, you can make a lot of inferences, such as, like, is there life there? Almost all planet detection papers are the work of a large team, Tesk says. This paper is no exception. Even in the subfield of exoplanets, she notes, lots of people share their unique expertise in efforts to finding and understanding these distant worlds. And she notes, there are lots of ways to get involved in planet detection, including through citizen science projects like Planet Hunters. 
maybe you will also help find a new planet. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.